This is the right arm throw action using our band to get incredible club head speed. Now, before we get into that band, let's show you what position we want on the way through. Now, far too many golfers are hands in close. Now, if you think about this, if we're pulling this golf club in and close, we're reducing the width of our arc, which reduces our club head speed. It also leaves us open to fat and thin strikes. And then with a the driver, adding loads of loft and not getting that real fish shot. Picture that shot, right? You hit it, it doesn't feel like you make contact. They're the ones you dream of. So at first parallel on the way through, we're all looking to be roughly in this position. Nicely in posture, but the club pointing back at us, right arm nicely extended, and left arm starting to fold and work around the body. Club face matching spine angle. And from the down the line perspective, we're looking for something that looks very much like this. So there are a few factors that allow us to feel as though we get this right arm really extended through. So let's show you this drill. And then I think it's important that you understand this factor of allowing this golf club to work as it passes impact in, up and around, rather than extending it up. I've used this expression a lot of times. I like the hands to exit up and left. This keeps the club head out. This also keeps us rotating through the golf ball. And that's an important concept to get this right arm straight. So, with our band, I know a lot of you guys uh, have commented on the videos, where do I get them from? So I'll leave another link down there below. Um, they're nothing to do with me, I don't know who they are. <laughs> um, but they've certainly got a lot of bands now from this. So grab your band, I then want you to put your hand in, it's number six on mine, so I know these yoga bands have different numbers on, but roughly two or three from the end. Put your hand in, put your thumb through it, and now I want you to grab your golf ball. So we're all about that feeling of extending the band through, not having slack on the band. So if you watch this slowly, to the top, down and in, into impact, and through and up and around. So if you look at where these hands are tracing from a down the line perspective, up, down, real add tension to the band. As I'm doing this, my hands are working down, in, up, and left. This is allowing me to feel as though I can get tension on the band. So I'm gonna hit a shot away with this, and if you are gonna hit a shot away with this, do it slowly. And an important point, on YouTube now, you can save videos. So if you think this is a video that's gonna be valuable for you, you're watching it now, you're going to the range in two or three days time, save it. So you can take it to the range. Don't forget about this. I think it's a very valuable skill. And just preempting a few questions here, a lot of you can do this with irons and driver for both. So let's hit one away slowly. So this is how I'd, if you were with me for a lesson right now, I'd get the band on your shoulder, place it on, and I would hit just a half shot away, really feeling as though I extend that band on the way through. And let's have a look at this here. Let's have a look at this. Really valuable piece here. It's a little half shot. When they come through. So we take them both to the top. Bands on there. On the way down, we feel like from our hands passing this point now, we want to feel as though we extend that right arm. And I feel as though, almost like my right arm, this is a feeling, right arm pushes down in this direction, and the club is allowed to then trace, if I put my, my hands then go, it sort of traces along these circles now. And if you watch this slowly, look how I've really extended that band. That band's worked out. I've added tension to it. And if the key message I want you to get out of this is adding tension to the band. We don't want to be taking tension off. Can we add tension to the band? And you can really see there, if you just grab your golf club, if you've got a bit of space, and just make a few practice swings, add tension. You can really see that you put a lot more speed 
down in at the bottom. You're not pulling that speed up and out. You're adding that speed down at the bottom. Down at the bottom of impact. And if you think of this as a way of progressing now, so you imagine you've got the band, you've got a great feeling, you're just about to go and play your monthly medal. How can I get that feeling? How can I take it to the golf course? Well, just stand here, little half swings, really feeling as though you're extending it out through the ball. Watch me again. Extend and rotate. Extend and rotate. So that's a simple way of thinking about this. Use the band, use that feeling of extending and rotating, not bringing this arm in. I want to just look at two other aspects now. So if we look at where these hands go, I mentioned this feeling of as our hands pass our right thigh now and are sort of in the middle of our chest and our, our, hand is, our arm is straight down to the ground, our hands would then work in and up. Watch how these trace in and up, in and up. It's not dragged through, it's understanding that they work in, up and around. I think a key viable point to this is actually going, well, if I want to extend the right arm, I have to understand what the left arm does as well. So we essentially want our left arm to make this motion in the golf swing. So it's gonna roll, it's gonna fold. Now this is external rotation of your left shoulder. Now, if you're someone who's had shoulder injuries in the past, you're potentially gonna find this quite hard to do. So it would be a good exercise. So if you watch me now, down in goal posture, okay, do this both together. This has to fold and roll to allow this to extend. If this pulls in and gets close, this can't extend through the shot. So I want you to think of this as a marriage and a relationship between them both. If I'm gonna add tension to the band, I've got to allow this golf club to fold and roll. And a simple way of doing this, right arm under the left, just firstly start by no moving none of the body. Get this arm to almost feel like it really folds and roll, quite exaggerated. Okay, now add in the body, rotate through. Put the right hand on, look how it's nicely extended. So you could think about this two ways, and depending if you're left or right hand dominant, you may feel more on the right, you may actually feel more on the left to achieve the right. So bringing this into a, a really nice demo now. Right hand on, back, hit it, and try and get into the same place. So let's show you that drill to finish us off here. Back, through, right hand on, back, try and get in the same positions, and it's trying to create muscle memory to feel those same things. Feel that right arm for incredible speed.